Web components are a set of technologies that allow us to create reusable HTML elements, in which all features are encapsulated within their code. The advantage of using web components is that they can be used anywhere. In a vanilla JavaScript application, in React, Angular, and Vue projects, or in any other modern JavaScript framework and library. So we can say that we write once, use anywhere, everywhere, anytime, for real. However, the native API for creating web components are not very pleasant to use. In fact, the developer experience is awful. Frameworks like Google It greatly simplify their creation, and in this presentation I will describe how to create web components using Lit, publish a web component on NPM, use the web component in vanilla JavaScript, Angular, and React projects. Our goal is the creation of a reusable component, such as a simple panel, and publish it on NPM in order to use it in React, Angular, vanilla JavaScript, or in any other framework. When we use the panel, we should be able to customize the title, and the header should be toggable, so we can collapse the panel clicking on the header. The icon should be customizable as well, and should emit a custom event when clicked, in order to customize the behavior when we use the component. Furthermore, it should have set custom content by using what is called slot. When we want to use a web component, we can simply create an instance by using it as a custom element and assigning its attributes. In our example, the title, an icon, and the open status, and of course, its content that is called slot. And this will be very similar in any framework, React, Angular, or Vanilla JS, for example. For example, attributes in Angular are called input properties, in React, simply properties. The slot in Angular is called ng-content, while in React, just children. Listening custom events can be quite different depending on the technology we are using. We'll see it in a while. The quick way to create a project with list support is by using VJS. You can simply use the create bit command, install all the dependencies and run the project. Your lead project will be available on localhost 3000. Here we can see the source code of our web component written by Elite. First, we create a custom class that extends lead element. We decorate the class with custom element in order to assign its name. We can use the styles static property to define the CSS classes we need to create the layout of the component. By using the property decorator, we can define the attributes and the properties this component can support. A title, a custom icon, and the state of the component, opened or closed. The components template simply used template literals. Here we can see how the title and icon are shown. When the icon is clicked, I invoke the onClick icon event handler, and after stopping the event propagation, I simply dispatch a custom event. When the header is clicked, I just flip the open property state, and this property is used to define when the slot must be hidden or shown. In order to publish the package on npm, your package JSON should not be private, and we need to assign the name of the package we want to publish. We can now run the build and publish it on npm simply using npm publish. After publishing the component on npm, we can use it in any project, React, Angular, Vue, and so on, by installing lit and our new component from npm. If you want to try it on vanilla JavaScript project, you can simply create it by using vit and selecting vanilla JavaScript or TypeScript project. Vit can also be used to create React, Preact, Svelte, Lit project, and so on. But if you are using Angular or React, I suggest to use the official CLI, Angular CLI for Angular, and create React app for React. To use our component in vanilla JavaScript application, we just need to import it and use it in any HTML template. As you can see, we can just set all the attributes and the slot. To list a custom event, we just need to select the element and list them for the event as we usually do with native events. In Angular, we need to import our web component anywhere and enable custom element schema in order to use non-Angular components in our project. Finally, we can use the web component in our templates as a normal Angular component. We can set all the attributes as we do with input properties by using square brackets to pass dynamic data. We can pass the content or the slot as we usually do and we can list events by using round brackets. In order to use our component in React that still has some problems to support web components, we need to update our component source code creating a wrapper for React. We need to open our lit project, create a wrapper by using the create component function provided by the lit, 
and we need to manually define the custom event. Of course, we need to publish again this new version on npm, and now we can simply use it in React as we usually do with React components. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye bye.